Welcome to episode one of Uploaded and Unfiltered, a podcast in which I, your host Jermaine, <laughs> interviews another creator in regards to their accomplishments, their triumphs, their pitfalls, their wins in this game we call content creation. Today, I have my very first guest. I'm super excited to get into this conversation with him. Let me give you a little backstory about him before we get to talking first guest, I guess we'll just start off and say my first guest is Bomber. Uh, I've known Bomber for a number of years. Super awesome dude, great content creator. And let me give it a little shout out. I made him write his own bio because I, it's hard for us to write our own bio. And I know it is, so I get to make people do it. And so I get to read it. So here we go. Bomber is a New York photographer, content creator who streams a variety of video games. His laid back personality, along with his passion for technology, photography, and video games, allow him to engage with his community to make his content enjoyable. When he's not making sure the internet isn't going down during his day as an IT professional, he is creating content, crafting his skills as a product photographer, checking out the latest anime, or just kicking back and playing video games. There you have it. I'd like to introduce my first guest to the squad. Bomber, how are you doing tonight? Welcome. Thank you, Crip. Thank you, Crip. Hey, listen, it's great that I'm here. Thank you for being, like, like I'm your first guest on here. I am uh, very excited and everything for you. I hope all is well with you. Bro, everything is good. I'm happy that I can finally get this up. And I was telling my wife earlier today, there's a number of people who I told that I was going to do this. Like, there's a few people that I tell that I'm going to do something because that energy that they have for not only their content, but stuff that other people do is infectious. And Bomber, you are one of those dudes. Like, when something's about to pop off, I'm like, yo, Bomber, I'm about to go knock this out. And you're like, yo, encouraging. And, like, it doesn't matter what the dumbass idea is. You're like, go ahead and do it. You put your all into it, and you got this. And, like, I've always admired that about you, so I appreciate that. Uh, thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Appreciate it. Like, yeah, I try to anything you never know what will work. And the only way you're going to be able to do it if you just go ahead and do it. So that's why I try to be really encouraging amongst my other peers and everything. It's it, much so. appreciated. Um, So welcome to the first episode. How are you feeling today? How's the day going? Uh, day's going good. Um, Just basically relaxed and kind of prepared for today. <laughs> so that's it. You know, very first podcast to ever be on and everything so it's like you know you get that nervous jitters and everything for it so um definitely like excited and just kind of relax and chill and watch, watch some anime today that's that's pretty much it okay that's what's up man you had a nice relaxing day i like that well this these episodes are going to be mainly about my guests so i get to ask you all kinds of questions about your your career and hopefully we can uh get a combo out yeah <laughs> and it's yeah. not too intrusive yeah nah. that's all good sounds great so let's start at the beginning if you had to put a number on the the years that you've been doing this how long have you been creating content oh man um so i think from when i last checked my stats my first stream was somewhere in 2019 i feel like it was during the summer so what is that 20 that's not what 19 20 21, 22, 23, like about four years, about three, four years uh, currently uh, in content creation. Definitely has been off and on. Um, okay, same. But, you know, life life be lifing. Exactly. <laughs> That's it, life be lifing. <laughs> so, um, yeah, definitely has been, been in, I guess, in this space for about, we had three, four years. Three or four years. So what are you currently, where's your creative juices going towards now? What are you mostly working on? Um, mostly I've been switching gears since February of this year to okay. focus more on YouTube, actually. Um, right. that's have been a completely different experience from one being on Twitch. And, um, that's where my like main focus has been going on towards that, um, short form mm -hmm. content. And, um, of course my main thing, which is like a uh, majority of photography. Definitely. And I was, I wanted to bring that up too. I, it felt like it was out of the blue. I saw a picture. Was it an Elgato picture? Was it the stream deck that was one of your first ones? What was it? Yeah, I think it, I, I've, I've taken so many uh, of the photos. Humble brag, humble <laughs> brag. There you go. <laughs> um, I think it might've been like one of my stream decks. Um, I had like a, um, a uh, what is the a stream deck mini? And it was like a photo of that, 
um, with a key light air, actually the same key light air behind me um, that I was using to light the actual device to right. just practice taking some uh, photos on the. That, so I think that was one of my main first shots uh, for just pro- getting into product photography. And I, I want to talk about this because I think it's a powerful uh, statement. That those first shots were just you, right? Like, did did they commission you for those, or you just did them? No, no, no. I that was all me. Um, so the way I've gotten into product photography and I guess photography in general mm-hmm. is. Um, you know, I'm usually the go-to person in our friend group that always take photos when we went out. Right. So I started off taking more like food photography just on my phone and everything. And um, that transitioned more into like picking up a camera. My old coworker actually was the one that got me more into photography. Okay. Um, he was like, hey, just try this out and I think you'll be okay with it. And I have to thank him for that. Yeah. Like, now, fast forward these years later, now, you know, I'm doing work for... Uh, for for Elgato, yes, uh, which has really really been a great experience so far. But um, yeah, getting back into that, just I just found what I liked, which was product photography, and mm-hmm. then um, I DM this really great product photographer I look up to, and he said, "Listen, use what you have. Yes. Just use what you have. Take photos. You know, whatever products you have laying around, just just go with that. Work on your skills and your composition and mm-hmm. everything." So I did that. And um, and then the rest went off from there. That is dope, man. Like hearing, like that you were just doing something that you loved, and you were doing it around the house. You had stuff that you already owned, and you're like, let me just take some dope ass pictures of these. And they caught somebody's eye, and I'm like, hey, can we pay you for this? <laughs> yeah, it's it's actually it's actually really funny. Um, you know, when we talk about content creation and like shooting your shot, yes, like um, it's so funny because um, another content creator um had mentioned to me he was like listen I, I love how you just like throw your hat to the you know throw your hat in the air and just hope for the best yeah. and shoot your shot all the time and I said you'll never know what happened so um I'll give you the backstory uh what happened was um I've been at this point I was doing a lot of product photography mm-hmm. um and I've been using I love my key light air right. and I was using that for my main lighting source and you know trying different things here and there so just one day out the blue, I said, you know what? Here we go. I'm just going to throw my shot and hope for the best. Yes. So I drafted up a tweet. I sent the tweet out. Um, I tagged Elgato and then I said, hey, Elgato, I'm a, um, you know, a photographer. I really enjoy your products. I use your products not only for streaming, but also in um, during my product photography. Mm-hmm. So I said, you know what? Let me go ahead and, um, you know, hey, if you don't mind, can you, you know, I would love to test a key light um, to do some more product work. Mm-hmm. And then like, you know, I wasn't, you know, when you're, when you're, when you're a creator like that, you never know, you just never <laughs> yeah, think you'll get a reply. Exactly. <laughs> they get, they get, D, they get replies and DMs all the time. All the time. You never think it's going to just work. Right. So I was just like, you know, forget it. Let me just do it. Mm-hmm. So tweeted it out about like, I want to say maybe 20 minutes later. Oh, damn. Um, like they replied in a tweet was like, yeah, sure. No problem. <laughs> That's what's up. <laughs> I, I, I I kid you not. Like awesome. I was so shocked and they sent me a DM yeah. and asked me for my shipping address. And, um, about a week later I had a, I had a key light and, Damn. but also, you know, I have to, it's, it's not about just shooting your shot. Mm-hmm. You have to see what's, gonna be beneficial not only to you but to that brand itself that is true, also 100 percent. um you know they they've been seeing my work and keeping an eye on my work so you know that's why they sent that out mm-hmm. and um you know i held true to it I, I did some product photographies of the key light using the key light right and just tweeted it out and just you know was very thankful grateful um for that and then you know we build a rapport going forward and then you know here we are today. That's awesome. Man. <laughs> that is awesome. I think that's when you called it out. I think that's one part that a lot of people forget. Like, yeah, you shoot your shot, but you need to have some type of consistency or at least a body of work to back up that shot. Because we can shoot shots all day, but if you're not prepared to get a call back, because if they would have called you back and you were like, "Oh shit, I was just, I was just joking," <laughs> but you were ready. You were like, "Let's do this. Bring it." Yeah, it was definitely. Um, 
it's definitely a, a new experience. Um, since I usually do photography as a hobby, mm -hmm. um, it slowly has been transitioning more into like that side hustle. Yes. Um, so it's been just all learning experiences and everything for it. But yeah, definitely like when it comes to that type of shooting your shot, mm -hmm. it's just like shoot your shot, but just be prepared if you know, like if you get that response back. Yes. Like if it's coming, be ready to work because yeah, they will call you out quick. They're like, oh, we shot, we can call back and you're not ready to play ball. So on to the next one. <laughs> yeah, definitely. That is dope. All right, man. Well, I want to switch gears a little bit and circle back on. You said you were switching um, what you're doing as far as like your streaming and your shorts content. You're switching over to YouTube. Are you making that your main focus for your produced content or are you dabbling with everything right now? What's that look like? Um, right now, I'm dabbling with everything. Okay. So um, the one thing... I'm telling myself is if I can get at least one piece of content out on YouTube a week, yes. I'll be satisfied. I'll be content. That's good. So, yeah. um, so it kind of varies. It's my three pillars for my channel is um technology, photography, and video games. Okay. So, um, I usually stream. I have I've been on a hiatus um for a little bit, but I'm getting my feet wet back into the content creation world right. now um so like um you know i stream video games um i'm i started producing a little bit more of long form content mm -hmm. um but i've really been like whenever i do my streams i always try to make sure i have like two or three shorts that i can just throw out during the week Smart. and um that's kind of like the main thing i've been focusing on uh for the most part just uh so it's a little bit of a mixture of everything yeah, and yeah. also like you know youtube is just like YouTube is just this behemoth. Yes. Um, but it's so interesting seeing, and I guess I, I think the main thing that's really interesting about YouTube is just, you know, it's a lot different from Twitch where you can go or any other streaming service where you can go set a title, mm -hmm. set a game, and yeah. then and then hit stream and then you're like good to go. Yeah. Like with like your YouTube streams, you gotta really put some thought into like okay yes. how can i title this what is the thumbnail mm -hmm. um you know what is my goal for streaming um am i gonna try to make like a, a a story out of this what can i grab um what can i create so i can like like it's a lot more tedious stuff that goes into youtube Agreed. and that's just not to encourage anyone not to do youtube mm -hmm. it's been a very humbling yes. um experience too because of the fact that you know your favorite creator that you're watching on youtube you know you appreciate all the effort that they go into mm -hmm. making their content uh, and now that you've you know started creating content on your own personal youtube channel like you, you know you get a little taste of that and like man like this is what they've been like spending x amount of time yeah. doing and busting out all these videos and everything like it's just a real eye opening oh 100 percent. i like mkbhd like his oh that's that's the homie right there I, he's gonna be on this part that's i'm calling it right now one day i'm gonna have him on here but like to watch him from his beginning to where he is now and knowing what goes into like building your youtube channel i got nothing but like the utmost respect for him because yeah lord he like he's um like he's an awesome creator like he's yes. an awesome dude yes. like just from watching his videos and everything he's just such an awesome right? dude like and then like the the production yes, quality is just ooh. so good that like i love it and for a while looking at that and I was doing this wrong. I'm going to say this right now. Do not do what I did. But I was looking at it, and I want that. And I was like, I'm not there yet. So I did not. I stopped making videos for a while, which is stupid. Work your way up to there. Like like Bomber said, use what you got right now and work your way up. There's going to be a party where I'm going to have a damn robot, computerized cameraman in my house. I just don't know when that's going to happen. But that's... he he's one of my inspirations. Like his YouTube game and the way he spread out his channels his merch he got a shoe made like he's doing things that like little true brain was like i wish i could do this i wish i could have my own shoe but he showed me it's possible so now that's where that's one of my goals just to ball out like that guy he's doing well for himself <laughs> yeah he's doing he's doing amazing like i love his content his con anytime i'm i'm and it's so funny because um i have a couple colleagues at work and like you know i'm 
at work, I'm usually the go-to Apple guy. So, which is it's just funny. Yeah. It's just, I'm, I'm usually the go-to Apple guy. And like, when they're ready to upgrade their phones and stuff, they'll come to me and say, hey, you know, what do you think? So I actually like recommend like them to his channel to check out. And they're like, you know, you know, and then I checked back like a couple of days. He was like, yeah, man, that guy was really good. He like really answered the questions that I really like had and everything. And I'm like, I was like, yes, like he, he, he does top notch work for it. So, um, but you, you made a very interesting point because of the fact that, um, I think all of us as content creators, we want that high quality production. Like, you know, I got to spend twenty thousand dollars on my setup and i gotta get it nice and neat and then like um you know because we see that's what attracted that type of like stuff attracts to us as creators and as consumers um but like as a creator i, I always say this when i'm talking to anyone that's like interested in streaming or they're like they don't feel confident about like their setup i said listen everyone loves a good origin story everyone loves a good origin story. So like, um, you know, it'll mm -hmm. eventually come, but like it, it'll, it takes time to do it. That's all it is. It just takes really time to, to get focused on that. Exactly. <laughs> um, well, yo, let me go ahead and circle into the, not the meat of the podcast, but I, I, I started this podcast. I really want to talk about the mental side about content creator. We, so we talked about it the entire time we've been chatting because I think, we are more uh, conscious of it. Like we know that, hey, there are going to be times where we don't feel motivated to create content and we need to know what to do in those spots. So rather than get into all that, what do you think your current mindset is as far as content creation and the work that you're doing? Where do you feel like your mindset is right now? Um, I think my mindset right now is refocusing on myself and on my content um you know the thing about about like someone's content um especially like if we're trying to like stay motivated and stay focused on it it's just like it's hard because you always see like your peers and what they're doing and you know um you know my partner she always says this uh comparison is a comparison is the theft of joy oh and, i like that um yeah com comparison comparison is the theft of joy hello listeners this is future crip editor crip actually and this is the part in which the audio from my section at least was eaten by the internet yeah i have no idea what happened to it my whole second half of this conversation has been deleted it's gone and I'm not going to let this stop me. I almost panicked and was like, I don't know what to do. I guess I don't have an episode one, but nah, we, we got this. We got this. So what you're about to hear is snippets from the Homer Bomber who dropped some knowledge that I wanted everyone to hear. He definitely was dropping some gems that I can't let the internet eat up. So what you're going to hear is chunks of that. I might come back and let you know, hey, we're talking about mindsets here or something of that nature but i promise you technical difficulties will not stop me from getting this podcast out so this next snippet you're about to hear is bomber admitting that he's never played a zelda game ever and going from never to playing damn near all of them so uh enjoy this i wasn't about to let this slide and um you know right now my mindset was just i i was just so burnt out um and that's mainly because of my myself because um uh you know for those that don't know like i've i've never played a zelda game ever in life so i've never played a zelda game ever in life i'm like 30 plus years old zelda's been along for god knows how lo longer than that so I, I i finally wanted to test the waters and dive into one and what ended up happening was i went from the legend of zelda um link's awakening the 2019 remake going straight into breath of the wild going straight into tears of the kingdom and by time i got 
one stream into Tears of the Kingdom, I was so burnt out of Tears uh, of Zelda, I did not touch anything from it. Like I, I have not streamed since like my second stream. After my second stream for Tears of the Kingdom, I was like, I'm done. Like I don't want to touch anything Zelda, and and like that was just my mentality. So I knew I had to take a break because I was just doing nothing but rushing, rushing, getting content. It was literally all that. Um, my mental state now is better since I've taken that break. And, um, you know, I'm ready to dive back into that world um, a little bit more. Um, but like the challenge is always trying to like find that balance of what you want to create with your content creation. So. So in this next snippet, you're going to hear Bomber speaking on mindset and how important it is for a creative to have a strong one. Uh, I mentioned to him, my brother, his name is Jarrell, a.k.a. Swell Rell, who is a nerdcore rapper, about how he went from zero to like a thousand in over like a year or two because he had a strong mindset. He had a vision. He knew exactly what he wanted to do. He had an idea how to get there and he just trusted the process and now he's about to go on tour i believe if not i'm speaking that into existence he's going on tour soon so uh enjoy enjoy the story yeah 100 percent agree 100 percent agree um you know it's so funny that you mentioned that like you're like some like a creator's mental state your mental state is like really so important in this world um you know there's so many things that can sway you off your path of creation um comparing yourself to like other peers um you know bigger creators you know numbers algorithms all that um i think sometimes as creators we need to just stop which we so if you have the luxury to stop um let me say that if you have the luxury to stop um to take that little break and kind of refocus reset because listen like your 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 mental state is can really throw you off your game like people can know like if you're in a sour mood you're in a bad mood you're in all that um and then your mind state of like just getting focused like you said your it was your brother correct yeah your brother like like he's he already has that mindset like yo this is what's going to happen. I'm doing X, Y, and Z. It's time to just put in the work and get everything done. Like, you know, and, and sometimes you definitely have to admire that type of mindset. And that really helps you in this uh, consecration world. At this point, we have reached the lessons learned section of the podcast and Bomber had a few of them. So I want to make sure to get him into his episode. So here you go. I have a couple um so one i would say my lesson that i learned was um try not to be so hard on yourself um learn to forgive yourself if you like take any breaks or you know if you didn't put that much effort into it um like you know life is very difficult <laughs> so and content creation is very difficult um you know you see people about they go viral and everything and honestly those are like very, very slim chances. Like most of the time you're going to be grinding and everything for that. But, um, you know, be kind to yourself in this world. It's a, it's a long, it's, it's definitely a marathon and not a sprint. Um, I would say, um, another lesson I've learned is have good people, um, it, around you and open-minded people around you in your circle um if you can find some peers that's on the same kind of level for you it's amazing to see all of you guys grow together um as kind of like one family um but it's just it's like you know you know you you definitely um you go farther when you have like-minded individuals um with you on your journey so that's like one of the main things I would say, you know, like I, like I always, um, I always, I don't want to say envy, but like, I always, uh, look at like you, uh, boss who versus and I, Chris Panda and like how, you know, you three came together and like, you guys are like, you know, interact and talk to each other damn near every day. And like, you know, yeah, I can know everything about your, not only your content creation side, but your like actual personal life and everything for it. Like, 
you only get those kind of uh, uh, people along your journey, like when when you guys are all synced up together for it. So if you can find some people that's like on the same level as you, and just like be genuine, I would say be definitely be being genuine really helps. Um, that's definitely a lesson I've learned. Like just be yourself, be genuine. Don't try to put on this fake persona. Like people are gonna smell that. Brands are gonna smell that. Like just like be you. It is like the like I guess one of the main lessons that I've learned from that. Last but not least, we have reached the words of advice section where I ask my fellow creators to give a piece of advice they would give to either an expiring creator or someone who's been doing it for a while. This is where that goes. Um I would say depending on your field, like depending on what you want to go into, um I would say words of advice, uh make sure you're having fun and and test it out if this is something you really want to do. Um even if you want to do it on a side side hustle for it or anything like that, just make sure you want to test out. Don't don't go drown yourself in ten, fifteen thousand dollars in debt, getting a new PC, getting a setup, just to stream like a week and then find out you do not like this at all. Um use what you got. You don't have to like you don't have to like buy a whole bunch of stuff in order to produce content. Um, you know, if you're a photographer and all you got is a cell phone, your cell phone, use your cell phone. Like, you know, you're developing those skills. So when you get to the point where you can actually like afford an account, afford a camera, like you already have the skill set down pat. You know, if you like creating videos on YouTube, listen, use the phone, like listen, save, get some used stuff. Used stuff is smart. Listen, 1080p, 60, 1080p. That is perfectly fine. That's all you need. Like, and I don't want to hear anything. Majority of the people have iPhones and have new iPhones. And the new iPhones can shoot 4K 60. So I don't want to hear anything about like, oh, my quality doesn't look good or anything. Like, I've definitely recorded some shorts using my phone. Before I actually upgraded my camera, I was using my phone to do video recording and 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 putting that so yeah like like a couple of my couple of the shorts that i own like mo couple shorts that i've done um like a couple unboxings like i i hooked up my phone i put it on the tripod i had a little mount i hit 4k 60 and just recorded and then and then just moved them all into post and then edit it up and that's it listen use what you got i don't care if it's a $30 webcam um, or anything like that. Use what you can afford. That's all for it. And with that, we have reached the end of episode one. I'd like to thank my guest once again, Bomber, for being my first guest ever on this amazing podcast that I'm producing. <laughs> I promise you the next one recorded everything. I have all the audio for both sides. We're good to go. Other than that, I hope you enjoyed this. And again, if you know any creators who would get some viable information from these talks that I have with other creators, please share this with them. Make sure you follow me on Spotify, Apple Music, anywhere I can put this podcast up, it will be. Leave a like, go ahead and uh, rate this too. Let me know what you think. And if you know any other creators you want to hear from, definitely get in contact with me you know what i should probably set up an yeah i'm gonna set up an email so hopefully next time we talk i have an email set up other than that protect your mental keep creating content and i'll talk to you in the next one have a good rest of your day